So we're going to do some uh, injections uh, to the neck. These are called cervical facet joint injections. Um, this is for people who have neck pain, um, often from uh, underlying wear and tear, degenerative changes. Um, and what happens is uh, patients will get inflammation, chronic inflammation in the small joints at the back of the neck, which are called the facet joints, or the cervical facet joints. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to identify these under an x-ray and uh, then we're going to put some tiny little needles down to the joints and inject a, a combination of long-acting local anaesthetic and a long-acting uh, steroid preparation which is called Depomedrone. Um, so if we have a look on the x-ray over here on the left um, that is what we call an AP view, an anterior posterior view, uh, basically looking through the neck or the cervical spine, uh, and that is an x-ray. And the jaw is at the top of the picture, and then you, what you can see there is the cervical vertebral bodies. So the first thing we're going to do is just to clean up the area of the neck. So we're just going to take some gauze here. This pink stuff over here is chlorhexidine. So this is an antiseptic that we use uh, just to cleanse the skin. Basically, as you know, there are bacteria all over the skin, all over the body. And this is just to uh, basically kill them to make it a sterile area to work in. That's nice and clean. And then we're just going to put a drape over the top to keep the, uh, the surgical field nice and sterile. So then we've got, this is a fenestrated drape, it's got a little hole in it. The first thing is we just identify some of these joints um, under the x-ray. Yep. Okay, so these are some of the joints. And we're looking at these under the x-ray uh, with a metal pointer. And then we're just putting tiny little needles into the skin. We're going to infiltrate the skin with some local anaesthetic uh, to make it as pain free as possible. Okay, so sharp little scratches going in there. So next thing is we're just going to infiltrate a little bit of local anaesthetic. When we're working in the neck, the neck is a very vascular area, so there's a lot of blood vessels in the area. So we have to be very careful when we're using local anaesthetic, um, both with the doses of local anaesthetic that we're using, but also where the tips of the needles are. So we need to be absolutely sure we're not near any blood vessels or anything like that. So now we're just putting the slightly longer needles in. These are going to be going down to the joints themselves. Uh, this patient's pain is all basically left-sided, so that's why we're concentrating. Usually it's on both sides. And the first thing we need to do is just very, very carefully make sure we get the tips of the needles down until we contact some bone, which will be um, the facet joint. And that's quite superficial. Okay, so if we look at the x-ray um, on the left hand side, um, we can see this is where the placement of all the needles are. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're in a nice line going from top to bottom. The important thing with these sorts of uh, injections is that there is a volume effect. So we will be injecting three to five mils of uh, mixture of long acting local anaesthetic and a steroid preparation. And the idea is for that to basically coat itself around the facet joint uh, and it will reduce the inflammation. So this is the preparation that we're going to use. This is a combination of long-acting local anaesthetic and a steroid preparation that we use. It's called Depomedrone. So first things, we just take the uh, stilettes out of the center of those little needles. Uh, we're well positioned on the x-ray can you just go up a little bit, please? And the next thing, we need to make sure we agitate the solution to keep it in um, liquid in the solution form all the time. 
First of all, what we do is we just aspirate, so we pull back on the syringe to make sure we're not in any blood vessels or any uh, cerebrospinal fluid, and then we're just going to very, very carefully administer the medication. This can be quite uncomfortable, um, so it's always best to do it slowly. So that's the first one. Again, make sure that we're in the right place. Aspirate and just gently inject. That's good. So we've just got three more to go. As with all these sorts of procedures, if you stay safe, if you keep to the bone, keep away from any important structures, uh, these are very, very safe procedures. So all of the cortisone is in. Now what we're going to do is just um, flush out the cannula, flush out the needle as we go with a little bit of local anaesthetic. That puts some local anaesthetic in the tissues, in the muscle, and it's quite helpful to reduce uh, any post-procedural spasm that the patients sometimes get. And that's it. Okay. Great. That's it. Thanks, guys.